Yellowstone Volcano Eruption Death Zone Millions Stranded as Volcano Obliterates U.S. Yellowstone Volcano could one day wipe out much of the U.S. and blanket the country in a thick sea of volcanic ash, scientists have warned soberingly ahead of its eruption. Simulations of the devastating eruption of the Yellowstone Volcano predict that no one in the U.S. is safe from the impact of the natural disaster. The biggest cause of concern, outside the region around Yellowstone, is the fallout of dangerous volcanic ash. Clues hidden in Yellowstone's past eruptions hundreds of thousands of years ago paint a picture of a very hopeless future. Geological evidence found buried in the ground suggests the extent of Yellowstone's ash emissions would have spread from coast to coast. Experts at the U.S. Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, warned in 2015 that the resulting damage would result in a huge loss of money. Doug Bausch, a senior scientist at FEMA, said, in terms of direct economic losses, a figure of $3 trillion is reasonable for this event. This is about 20% of the U.S. gross domestic product. FEMA experts designed six sensible ash disposal zones across the U.S. to map the widespread impacts of Yellowstone's spewed ash. Zone 1 will extend up to 80 kilometers from the eruption, blasting the ground with scorching hot gas and volcanic ash up to 3 meters high at temperatures above 400 C. Approximately 70,000 people were in the area affected by this eruption and unfortunately, the immediate impact of the eruption was not sustainable. West Yellowstone and Mammoth were named the two major cities in Zone 1. Far from Zone 1, survival prospects begin to improve, but local wildlife and agriculture will suffer irreparable losses in the years to come. In fact, a 2014 study argued that falling ash in Yellowstone would damage the integrity of buildings, block waterways, and even disrupt electronic communications. The Grimm study, published by USGS scientist Larry Mastin, said, Cities within 500 kilometers such as Billings and Casper were covered by tens of centimeters to more than a meter of ash, Midwestern cities such as Minneapolis and Des Moines received ash thick a few centimeters. And Midwestern cities such as Minneapolis and Des Moines received several centimeters of ash, and those on the east and Gulf coasts received millimeters or less. Cities in California receive millimeters to centimeters. And the Pacific Northwest cities of Portland and Seattle received up to several centimeters of rain. According to FEMA, even in Zone 6, which is more than 800 kilometers from the big explosion, Yellowstone ash would still have devastating impacts. Buildings may suffer minor damage as a result of this disaster, cars will lose traction on roads, and lack of food and communication may hinder livestock production. 